Hello, hello everybody! Tazi here, we are playing The Hand of Glory 2, Roots in the Sky, the new demo. It's very exciting, uh, the game is on Kickstarter right now. We have this demo, here we go, it's time to play. Do I want to play the game tutorial? Well, why not? Yes. Welcome to the tutorial of Roots in the Sky, Hand of Glory 2. In this game, you will investigate a tough case, but you will be able to do so using a few simple commands. Let's see how... <laughs> he, he is looking different, guys. <laughs> he looks more cartoonish now, what the heck. This is Lazario, our mascot. Despite his gruff appearance, he's going to help us with this demonstration. Alright. In order to move, you need to use a cursor and interact with the game environment by clicking with the left mouse button. Yeah, Lasso. Lazario. <laughs> uh, your notebook keeps track of your current task to console it interact with the button in the upper right corner. So that's our notebook. With our objectives and all. Follow on screen instructions. To interact with the game well, move the cursor over an interactive object and open a contextual menu by clicking with the left mouse button. A remote? Ooh, a remote! One of the objects from the last game. An important object. So once we open the menu, select the action to perform. Uh, you can use the eye, use the hand icon. This one is to interact with the objects. Mouth, which we don't have here. Talk with the characters. And from time to time, you will find different actions. It's up to you to discover them all. Yeah, it all depends on the object, guys. It all depends on the object. Batteries. Do I sell batteries? Specifically. <laughs> The items you pick up are stored in your inventory, right there, our backpack. So let's check this out, remote and batteries. Now, in some cases, the items you pick up can be combined. To do that, move the cursor over the item you want to use. So, let's open this up again. Click the batteries. And then we drag it to the remote control. And now they are combined. You don't know which objects you can interact with? The hotspot finder will help you. Use it clicking the mouse wheel by or pressing the spacebar. So two different methods, guys. Then, something in the dark. A hidden button. Let's see what this is. A TV. Ah, we can also use items in our inventory. So let's use our remote control with the TV. Turn it on, watch the news, and play the game. Rome, the Eternal City. I had been working for a private security agency called Fidentia for a few months. The pay was lousy, but it had a huge advantage. Nobody there cared who I was, or where I came from. Me and Malcolm, my boss slash roommate, we're escorting yet another VIP to discover the wonderful views of Rome. Everything was going as planned. The guy didn't look like he wanted to talk, and we were more than happy to accommodate him. Then, as if reading my mind, Destiny decided to liven up the situation. thing I could complain about. Oh no! Would be oh no! Can we replay that scene, please? So, Kiddo. that guy pushed Kiddo. me away. Wake up. Five more minutes, Dad. Ten? Get up, sleepyhead. I need to leave for a while. Mm. Leave? Uh, I left something for you. It's in the kitchen. Dad? Dad? 
What? What? He's gone. You're still in bed? Didn't you say bye to your father? No. Oh, well, that'll teach you not to stay up so late with those stupid detective magazines you read. They're not stupid. When I grow up, I will be a great detective. All right, all right, take it easy. Breakfast is ready, but first, I'm sure you meant well when you decided to decorate the wall with that, that mural. But get rid of it now, please. But it looks great. Do I really have to? You have the nerve to complain? Tell you what, don't even dare come into the kitchen until you picked up all those clothes scattered around as well. But mom... Bobby, he's gonna help me. Hi, Bobby. Did you sleep well? Come on, I know you're awake. I'm gonna tickle your tiny paws, you know. Ooh. Little brat, don't you dare. And by the way, I never sleep. I stand guard. Oh, right. The guarding went well then? Nothing to report, except for that rooster that keeps singing at 3 a.m. and the endless snoring of your father. <laughs> he almost sounds like a rusty muffler. So what's on the schedule for today? Shall we flush out a criminal gang, search for stolen goods, a few chases, hand-to-hand -hand fight? We need to tidy up the room. I love hand-to-hand... -hand. You call that a schedule? Let's hurry up! Dad promised me a surprise. Aren't you forgetting something? My notebook! I can't launch myself on a mission without my notebook. What is our mission objective, Lars? Oh, right, so we went back in time, guys. A young Lars. So I suppose I'm lying unconscious on the street right now, or in the hospital. I want, really want to replay that scene that happened so quickly. That uh, shooting scene. I was focusing on the clock, and then <laughs> there was a lot of shuffling with the people down below. <laughs> I was one of them. Lars was one of them, guys. So I believe uh, the guy pushed me away. And then my boss got shot. So I think I was the intended target, guys. They were trying to assassinate me. I think that's what happened. But anyway. We are in the past. This is all in my head. <laughs> With my imaginary friend, Bobby, the teddy bear. Looks just like Mr. Bean's teddy bear. He called him Teddy. <laughs> Mr. Bean's teddy bear is Teddy. Bobby is my best friend. Are you serious? But I hate you. Oh yeah? Th then I hate you too. <laughs> right, can I can I pick him up? Are you coming with us, Bobby? I don't think so then. Alright, let's see if we have repeated comment here or not. Bobby is my worst enemy. That's better. Oh, we have different lines. Bobby is my worst enemy. Okay, two times. It all depends, guys. Depends on the object, I suppose. Uh, so, degreaser, what is that? Wash your dishes, guys. So let's have a closer look. It looks like it's lemon flavor dishwasher. Once we used it to clean and polish Dad's car, it gleamed after that. Oh, that kind of degreaser, huh? Use it on the car. Okay, make it shiny. <laughs> uh, we are not using the right mouse button in this game. It all comes down to the left mouse button and the mouse wheel. That's good to know. My tricycle reaches impressive speeds. The other day, you were overtaken by an old man with a walking stick. I'm... I'm still learning, okay? The brake is on. Besides, I can't play yet. A library shelf. A lot of interesting items here. There's my Cowboys and Indians comics. And my toys. And no books. Cowboys and Indians are way better. 
Agreed. Quite a collection there. Robots, videotapes, cassette player. There are books here, Teddy. I mean, Bobby. <laughs> there are books. Probably a whole collection of comic books. Laundry basket. Oh, the T-shirt has blood stains on it. Do I want it? Clean Stallone. Movie poster. Clint Stallone. He definitely knows how to catch the bad guys. The basket for dirty and stinky clothes. Let me remind you that you're supposed to fill that basket. Oh, then we can fill it right now. The dirty T-shirt. Uh, I wonder what that is. Uh, the red stains. I stained it painting Detective Bobby on the wall. Oh. Well, we better wash it then. Yes. Bobby. The de great detective. <laughs> I don't know why Mom wants me to remove that. It's colorful. A real masterpiece. Isn't it? Do you remember when Dad taught us about irony? No. I can tell. This look just like you, Bobby. I don't know why Mom wants me to remove that. Okay, okay. What do you think of my drawing? The execution is poor, but the subject, well, what a subject. Yes. Oh, thanks to the real model. <laughs> That's you, Bobby. There's a vineyard in front of the house. And you can also see the hills around the city. I like sleeping with the window open. You can hear the crickets at night, and the wind, and... Remember when you left me on the bedside table? It started raining and I had a shower? Well, you needed it anyway. Alright, do we need to wash that uh, scarf? Actually, the sock. <laughs> a blue sock. Maybe. Left sock. Or is this the right one? Oh, there's one right here. Oh, we found it. <laughs> it's a hidden object game, guys. It's stuck in the wheel. Oh, well, maybe, uh... Push it a little. The brake is on. Besides, I can't play yet. But I do need to get the SOG. Oh, it's a different icon here, the brake. The handbrake. It's a what's it that you use to keep the tricycle steady. It's called a break, remember? Yeah, yeah, I knew that. We need the sock. Something's holding the wheels! Are they dirty socks? Or clean socks? Right sock? Or is this the left one? Uh, it doesn't really matter, we are cleaning them all. Let's try the mouse wheel, guys. It will tell us all the interactive hotspots on the screen. So which one have we not clicked on? This one. Underwear. Green underwear, huh? Interesting color. All dirty laundry. Roberto only gives me green, white, or red underwear, like the Italian flag. Interesting colors. They do look good, though. So 
looks like we have clicked on every single item here, except that metal plate is a junction box. There are electric cables in there. Mom told me not to get too close. But we both know you will. Yes, <laughs> of course. I don't think we can do anything with it right now. All right, goodbye, Bobby. I'll be back. Where do you think you're going? You have to tidy your room first. Uh. Is this not tidy enough? Come on, look at this place, guys. The basket for dirty and stinky clothes. And I think we got them all. Yeah, nothing on the bed here. Cannot do the bed sheets and pillowcases. So I don't think that is it. The junction box? Okay, remove the masterpiece from the wall. Oh, why? I like that picture of Bobby. It looks like it is something that we need to do here, guys. So let's see if I have to combine the degrees with the brush or not. A soapy brush. Oh, I like this picture. Yeah, the walls it looks a bit bland, guys, without the picture. <laughs> Maybe we can paint another one. I mean, something that is not as cartoonish as this. Well, I'm done. What a chore. Your stomach roars louder than me. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I can't wait. All done? I warn you, I'll be checking later on. What smells so good? Your favorite breakfast. Pancakes with pistachio cream. Pistachios! I heard you talking earlier, and... Yeah, I mean, uh, about Bobby. <laughs> he is a good friend, I'm sure. But you, um... I mean, you know that he doesn't really... Don't you? Mom, I know that Bobby doesn't really talk. I'm not six. All right, all right. I just wanted to be sure. Sometimes your imagination confuses me. That's all. Your father left something for you on the table before leaving. Yeah, Bobby only exists in my mind, Mom. <laughs> I know he is not in the physical world. <laughs> Hey kiddo, I need to leave the city for a while, but I didn't forget my promise. Today is your initiation day. I've scattered three tasks across the whole house. Once you have completed them, you'll be a step closer to becoming a great detective. The safe on the table is protected by a numeric code. There is a videotape on your top shelf. Watch out, recovering it will be perilous. A force field bars the way, be careful. P.S. Don't watch the videotape before you've completed all the tasks. The top shelf? Oh, I've seen it in my room, guys. I know which one. This is going to be an epic challenge. I'm ready. An epic challenge, that is. Oh, look at that, the tiny safe. So, yeah, we are not going to guess the code here. <laughs> Because we need a clue. So, uh, okay, this is in another language, guys. But I think we can all guess what this means. <laughs> this is February, of course, and that means that is January. Janayo. Appointment, January 9th. And something. It's going to happen February 17th. I don't know what that means. There is a kitty here. 
January 30th. I wonder if this is linked to the safe code or not. But we'll be back. Now, sticky notes. What's this? A shopping list? I'm a wise king, but I wear a scarf even in summer. I am weak, but in order to leave the house, I need to break a wall. Huh. Very cryptic, guys. But Lars does wear a scarf. Yeah, he's not wearing it right now, but he has one in his room, in the laundry basket, guys. I know Lars in the last game loves wearing that red scarf. Right, any other hotspots here? Well, we can talk to mom again. She's the most gorgeous mom in the world. You're being this sweet because of the pistachio pancakes, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you know me so well. Is that dad? Dad didn't tell me he had to leave. He received an urgent call tonight while you were sleeping. I don't know exactly where they sent him this time, but he packed his luggage with light clothes. Probably someplace warm and exotic. He's gonna drink coconut milk with a straw! He will swim in the ocean, or in the sea, or in a river. I mean, knowing him, he's going to dive into the first patch of water he can find. And he's gonna romance all the ladies in town. He'd better keep his hands to himself. Lars, Lars, Lars. <laughs> you have been reading too many books, watching too many TV shows. What a bummer I had to erase my painting. Sweetie, I don't want to limit you or curb your enthusiasm, but you see, you have many fine qualities. It's just that painting is not one of them. What good qualities do I have then? Well, you're creative, curious, you have a keen eye, and above all, you're tenacious. What does tenacious mean? Stubborn, but in a good way. Really good way, Lars. Look! Look! I see. Dad told me about the loose tooth. Did it hurt? Hurt? <laughs> I never feel a thing. So it isn't because you were scared I'd pull it out that you didn't tell me, right? Mm, no, no, not at all. Hmm. Did you check if the tooth mouse came? I forgot. Hurry up. He usually leaves a penny under the pillow as payment. Ooh. I need to complete some tasks for my initialization. Do you? Are you ready for anything to become a great detective? For anything and more. It's going to be tough. I like that. Twisted. Oh, all, all right. Full of dead ends and pitfalls. Oh. And above all, dangerous. Can't, can't you help me? Are you kidding? Your father would never speak to me again if I ruined your initialization. But you'll manage. I have no doubt. Wow! Check out the pillow, guys. Bobby! Mom thinks you're imaginarific! She's right! Ugh! You two are boring. <laughs> Dad left me some challenges to overcome! Something fun at last! Check the pillow! Look, Bobby, a penny. This is the start of a real financial empire. That's not a copper penny, guys. It's a silver penny. Look at that. I still need to lose eight teeth, and then I'll have enough pennies to buy a glove box for the tricycle. Eight pennies? It costs six pennies? <laughs> so, oh, you know what we can do? We can unscrew the panel now. Maybe it will work. Basic junior detective level skill. <laughs> Unscrewing stuff with a coin. Here's 
is the force field protecting the mysterious package? Wow, so that's what he means, huh? What if I get shocked? Well, we can wear gloves. What do we have, guys? Okay, we don't have any protection, but... That's the videotape that Dad was talking about. It's right there on the top shelf. Who knows what's recorded on it? Got any suggestions? You need a stepladder. Yes, we do. I don't know how to reach it. It's too high. You can climb on the bed. It's too far away from the shelf, and I... You have short paws, right. Can we climb on the tricycle? Let's have a warm-up lap. Ooh! Flashbacks. Actually, not flashbacks, guys. <laughs> Those are... From the future, those scenes. Alright, open the drawers, make a step ladder. Easy to do. Those are not very big steps. <laughs> those are tiny, tiny steps. Can we not pull it out more, guys? Pull it out more! I think we can do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Much better, guys. I think that's good enough. Stop! You'll break your neck! I can't! I can't let Dad down! I... I did it! Good job! What do you think is on the videotape? It only says kiddo. Maybe it's the video of your first grade play. Mom laughed until she cried. You were an exceptional treat. This videotape is the biggest challenge. I wouldn't want you to watch, but you need to understand. Don't be afraid. Alright, we better tidy up, guys. <laughs> Close all the drawers back in. We'll be a good boy. All right. So, Bobby, my imaginary friend. Alright, I'm going to look at the journal here again. Uh, use my wish to open the safe in the kitchen. So there are two things to do. We got the tape. How are we going to grab the package? From inside that uh, compartment there, the fuse panel. Oh! Oh, that goes back to the main menu! Oh, I didn't know. That gear wheel icon there. I can manage on my own. Yeah, we don't need your help, Mom. <laughs> the clue has got to be in here on the calendar, guys. So, okay, hold on. Before we do anything here, how many numbers do we need? It's a four number code. Okay, four numbers. Let's look at this again. So something marked on the 9th and on the 17th. Oh, what is that? An icon there. Oh, we can turn the page! <laughs> we can turn the page! Compreano, is that a birthday? Uh, I'm sure Compleano 
English lesson. Got an apple here, guys. One five zero zero. Green in red. But isn't that too obvious? One five zero zero is worth a try, though. <laughs> One five zero zero. I'm gonna try this. One five zero zero. Oh, okay. We cannot do repeated numbers, so that cross that out. <laughs> <laughs> 